Welcome everyone to the Guthrie Theater for our Minneapolis One Read event. I'm Carrie Miller. I'm really glad you're here. Thanks so much for coming. One Minneapolis One Read kicked off in the fall of 2011 before a packed house of more than a thousand. Please welcome NPR's Michelle Norris to the stage of the Guthrie Theater. Norris's book, The Grace of Silence, was the first One Read book. A memoir about her own family's history, Norris's book got people talking about what are sometimes tough topics, race, family, and secrets. One Read brought people together at schools, workplaces, parks, and libraries, and the result was honest, raw conversation about feelings and experiences. My two-year-old daughter and I were on a bus, and a little white girl told my daughter, go home and wash your face, because she thought she was dirty. I met uh, a new couple tonight, and you know, that's the first thing that hits me is they're black. And I think that's the, the challenge for all of us is to, to know people beyond that. I was in first grade and the teacher asked who would sit with me and all of the kids turned away or moved away. And Becky Rice volunteered to sit by me. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for sharing that. Forums for conversation sprouted up all over the city, in auditoriums, at schools, libraries, workplaces, restaurants, and around dinner tables. It worries me a little bit, if I can speak honestly, if the conversation about race is always attached to people of color, or always attached to black people in particular, if it's a conversation that's always by, for, or about people of color, because race touches all of us in some ways. It is our story. The community conversation continued into the next year with the One Minneapolis One Read book, Spirit Car, Journey to a Dakota Past, about author Diane Wilson's experiences digging into her own family's Native American history. In this second year, One Read drew even more people to join the conversation. Please welcome Garrison Keeler and Diane Wilson. You can ask around and say, have you read Spirit Car by Diane Wilson? And they will say, yes, what did you think of it? And this will be the start of a conversation. The book does cover some of the, some of the what to me are the more difficult passages in Minnesota's history, but for Native people in general. At Minneapolis's South High School, students got to meet the author. At workplaces like Gray Plant Moody, Co-workers read together, had discussions, and learned from each other's perspectives and experiences. We are probably the most written about people in the world, but the least understood. I have to thank the One Minneapolis One Reads uh, Committee for choosing this book. To me, it, was, it symbolized an act of profound listening, and I am deeply grateful for that. One Minneapolis One Read just keeps growing. Get a book from the library, become a sponsor, host a chat, get your workplace, school, even your own family to join the rest of the city as we see how rewarding and powerful it can be to have everyone in Minneapolis read the same book and join the conversation. I just I want everybody to get along, but geez, how do we do that? How do we do that? We do this. <clears throat> Thank you. One Minneapolis, one read. Read the book, join the conversation.